Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about React ES6 and ES6 we will discuss about variables. But before starting and discussing about variables, first we will look what is ES6. Actually ES6 is a standard implement by JavaScript and it describes all the rules, details and guidelines that a JavaScript implementation need. There are several JavaScript standards out there and React is much easier if you know ES6 standard. ES6 is actually a ECMAScript 6, which was created and standardized by JavaScript, right? So ES is ECMAScript and 6 is the sixth version of ECMAScript. And it was published in 2015. So here the question is, why we want to learn ES6 for Java, uh, React? So if you need to have command on react you need to be familiar with uh, es6 new features because it is much easier if you know es6 uh, to interact with a react and use the react right so today uh, in es6 we will discuss about variables before es6 what what we were doing uh, the only one way of defining your variable is we, we use a keyword var but ES6 introduced three uh, new way of writing the variables, var, let, and constant. But before that, we, uh, whenever we write the JavaScript, we only use the word var. So var have a function scope, not, not a block scope. So I'm going to explain you how. So uh, I, I'm going to open the project. Here simply what I will do, I will comment all the changes and we will discuss uh, what is const and what is var and what is let variables so we can understand the difference of all this so function then i will write test variables test vars and in this i'm going to write a loop for loop iteration of 5 and i++ plus plus. right here I'm going to do the console dot log first of all I will discuss about var what is var and how var works actually so I just need to call this function test vars what this function will depend this page uh, because as I told you in index or in dot js is the entry point so when this uh, function uh, executes its log I trade the this for loop for five times and log this so if I go and see on console dot log we can see here clearly The iteration of five is uh, working here but but when i go outside of this uh, block i will say console dot log dot i if i write this so we can see here uh, i is not uh, uh, finished here yet it also we can also call this i outside this block so this is the reason uh, the var is has a function scope not a block scope if it is a block scope, then uh, what it is doing, uh, what what will happen? This I will not be used outside this block. So that's that's why we say var ha, var is a function scope and not a block scope. But what uh, ex6 introduces, they introduce let let is the bl block scope version of var and is limited to the block where it is defined. So let's try it. Insist of uh, var I will use here let and you can see here I is not defined uh, error generates on line number 24 it clearly says that the the scope of the I is only inside the block these blocks but it we cannot use them outside the block so that's why we use 
the let if we are working in a block and we need to change this uh, values again and again we can use the let keyword uh, for variables and if we have any value which is global or we can also use outside the block and inside the function also everywhere we can use the keyword var for for them so if i use let so it's not invisible so i need to use the var here then I, we can see it's working fine and we can see the output as well as so these are the this is the second keyword uh, let so we, this chart is, is really helpful for all of you like uh, for the var it has a global scope which is true uh, it has the function scope which is true but it is not as a block scope because it it can uh, recall outside the uh, block as well as and can be reassigned yes we can assign multiple values to var as well as like first we write uh, value one and then two and then t and so on so we can change the values as well as same for the let let is not global scope as we just see now it's it's just a function scope uh, inside the, we can use them inside the function but not outside the function and also in the block scope not outside the block like in like the function we can i can say i can let, use let here as well as but uh, i cannot use them outside the block so outside this function and block so that's true and can be reassigned yes they are not constant they are not readable read only so we can uh, change the values as well as so the third one is constant const is the variable that once it has been created its value can never be changed const has a block scope it's same like it, it's it's working is same like the let uh, it will be recalled in only inside the block so if i commit all this code and i came here and i said const total is equal to 120. if i go again and i write total 125 so what happened it, it generated warning total is assigned value but never use yeah that is true but when i go on the website and the console so here it says assignment to const variable it's not allowed in es6 ecma right so what uh, does it mean it can have the constant values and we cannot change them on the runtime right but these are the three uh, variables uh, which was introduced in the e es6 and these all three variables will be really helpful in react uh, we cannot just use only the var which was which uh, we were using in the traditional javascript but now in this modern javascript we can use all these new uh, variables to help us right so this uh, one misleading concept for the constraints the keyword constant is a bit bit misleading right because it does not define a constant value actually it defines a constant reference to a value so let's suppose if we have uh, here uh, I've given an example also if we have one array and we want to change the value of an array that uh, that can be changeable right because uh, it does not it's clearly mentioned it does not define the constant values but the constant references but when i go and uh, assign a new value to an constant object or array then we we were not allowed to do that so let's make this example on the real time if i go and comment all this code and i have created a new function test fun So in this in this code you can see here I have created one array hello world and here I am assigning a new value to hello like test. So if I go and check this check this out we can see here uh, th this array is printed out on the console right. But when I go and assign a new value like because assigning a new value to constant variables are not allowed because as we just saw we have the constant references not the constant values so we can change the values but not the uh, references we can change 
so this is not allowed so this is a misconception about the constant values uh, which needs to be clear like uh, reassign a constant value that is not allowed reassigning a constant array not allowed Re reassigning a constant object not allowed but what we can do change the element of a constant object or change the properties of a constant uh, arrays right and there is one thing if you want to if you do not want to change the like i just change the value of an array if you want user to stop uh, doing uh, or developers stop doing this that on runtime if they change the properties or values or anything we can stop them by using the object dot freeze a frozen ob object can no longer be changed it means that uh, this is the object dot freeze is a method which is used to freeze an object right freezing an object does not allow new properties to be added uh, to the object and preventing removing or alternating the existing properties so these are this is the concept for the es6 variables i hope uh, you all guys enjoy it uh, so i will continue sharing the new topics and new videos on es6 so please like and share and till then bye